Chance. Really, do you have the second? Chance. Opportunities have wings. Opportunities have wings. Now today, ambassador is an opportunity. <coughs> if you lose that opportunity today, I am telling you for the entire life of your life as a student, you will never get that opportunity again. Parabanda. Parabanda. Senorita. I believe even Jesus Christ was born in a cow shed, in a major, but he never became a cow or a cowboy. <laughs> so this morning, what we need to know is how do you position yourself to greatness? I will tell you why your school is not a great school. How many great? Let me tell you why it is not a great school. Because your school is a very good school with a very good principal, very good teachers, very good smartly dressed students. But good is an enemy of the great. So today I have a very easy task. Just to move you from good, you're already good. Imagine at Imagine. Imagine. But now I want you to be great. We have been advised about the three Bs that is brief, behave, and you become. Once you believe and you behave yourself, you shall become what you hope for in life. And he has really encouraged us more about focusing in our education and being part of our success, not carrying strangers in our cars and being personal. The school you wanted to be is this one. If you wanted to go at Alliance, this is your Alliance. If, even the teachers of Alliance, if they come here, they won't change. Feel what you came to do and do what, what is good for you to do. And there is something that he said that really touched me. He talked about two things, the windscreen of the car and the side mirror of the car. He said that in a journey, you only look in front, you don't look backward. That's why the windscreen is big and that's why the side mirrors are small. It doesn't matter where you came from, but where you are going to. I appreciate the administration for giving us an opportunity to have Wamboko Kamau as our guest speaker for the day. And also I've learned characteristics of a good, of a successful leader, such as change your, you have to change your mindset and also never give up in life. He has also talked about time management, which will enable me as a candidate in Grubani Secondary School to make my time and be ready for everything that I am expected to do in time. We had an ambassador today and today I've run to say no to negative to negative things. In that he taught us about the vitamin N which is no and in whatever you will be told you say no to a negative thing and yes to a positive thing. He taught us what is life and life is a journey from when you are born to when you die. You students I want to tell you one thing what you are, determining, you are doing here in school, that is determines most your future. There is a certain things we can see. You are doing now your foundation coming from there, starting from the school. Growth from inside. Please work on your insight. Your insight is your brain. Our mind is like a garden. Mindset change. Let us value our past. Zero differences to make one ask. By the way, make those differences aside that when you come here, you focus on one objective. The school vision and mission. Because you have come here for a purpose. We are going to take a different direction. We have been given direction already. Sindio, we are going to take a direction and we are going to take our school High and high. Our school is our alliance. You don't make a mistake coming here. So our speaker, we appreciate you so much. And we pray to God that we give you more energy to speak to others. For us, we have gotten our best. He has motivated us in many ways. One of it is about life. Life is a journey that, that begins when one is conceived and the choices that one makes till 
till the death of the person. Kuna mgonjwa alikuwa mgonjwa malaria. Akaenda hospitali akapewa dawa. Siku hiyo ilikuwa dawa zinaitwa malaria queen. Unapewa four immediately. Alafu unapewa six two after six hours. Na ingine two after six hours. And then two 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 for three days. Na malaria inaisha kabisa. Sasa huyu daktari alikuwa daktari mzuri sana. Akaambia huyo mgonjwa wewe hata ukaenda nyumbani nitahakikisha mimi mwenyewe nimekutibu na akampea dawa nne akaambua meza lakini kuna tatizo hapa hizo dawa zilikuwa chungu sana ye mgonjwa kusikia kwa ulimi ni chungu alificha chini ya ulimi akajifanya amemeza daktari alipotoka akazitoa akazificha chini ya pilo after 2 hours 6 hours daktari akarudi akampea zingine mbili akafanya vile vile akaficha chini ya ulimi akajifanya ame meza akaenda daktari aka, lakini kila wakati daktari akienda anakuta ana, anakuwa mgonjwa zaidi anashangaa kwani dawa azifanye kazi so after another 6 hours kurudi akakuta mgonjwa hadi mahututi akampatia tena na yeye akafanya vile vile akajikaza akatoa wakati daktari aliondoka sasa kugojea the following day akuja kumpea zile zingine mbili alikuta amekufa and you see as a doctor when a patient dies you have to write a report cause of death ndio waambie watu wake aliuliwa na hii na yeye alikuwa amejua amemtibu vizuri amehakikisha amempea dawa akajiuliza seriously what killed this patient na alikuwa ina dilemma kwa sababu hakujua ataeleza namna gani kwa sababu alisema alale hospitali ili ampatie nini dawa Dio sasa ile hiyo mwili ilikuwa ikiondolewa pilo ikaanguka akaona zile dawa zote kumbe hapo kujua kazipata hapo ndio akajua tatizo la mgonjwa sio kwamba dawa hazikufanya kazi ni kwamba mgonjwa hakufanya nini hakumeza na walimu wengi hapo wanashangaa vitabu kwanza ni serikali ilileta za bure mkaletewa si ndio but if you don't take those books if you don't read utakuwa wewe na huyo mgonjwa mko kitu because utaanguka mtihani na sio kwamba haukuwa na vitabu haukuwa na mwalimu mwalimu ni daktari anakuja anakuambia soma anakufanyia hesabu moja na anakupea assignment wewe usipofanya hello uanguke mtihani <coughs> walimu wataulizwa kwa nini wao watoto hawajapita mtihani Wengine wanafanya research tu wanajua. Wanasema huyo tunajua alikuwa kwa madawa. Huyo tunajua alikuwa hivi. Tunaelewana? Hii ni maanisha ndio mfike mahali mnaenda lazima tujaze na tujaze. Haya watu poje jaze? Jaze.